Hi friends, welcome back to Order 15 Development Tutorials. We have already discussed about the building a module using scaffold method and different module structures in Order 15 and then the compositions of module in Order 15. So today in this video, let us check how we can build a module in detail. So in this video, I am going to create a custom module uh, as travel management and then uh, let's check how we can do that so go to pycharm so in the Py pycharm in a custom directory which i named as custom add-ons uh, at here let's create uh, the custom module and then uh, uh, i give the path of custom add-ons in the order15.conf and then here i am try creating our custom module that is travel management And then, as we all know, the most required Python files of a module are init and manifest. So, first let's create the init and manifest file. Both are Python files. In the init files where we can load the packages, Python packages. And then next the manifest file. It is a metadata of the module. And it helps to show this module in the order app list. So let's create the manifest file. And then let's create the models. Models are the objects of this particular module. So where we uh, need to add the functionality or extend the functionality that can we do in the models file. So let's create the directory for models. And then under the directory of models, it have two it have uh, Python files. First one is init, and uh, this is a required Python file under the model directory uh, where uh, we need to we can uh, import the packages or Python packages or Python files that needed for these models. And then at here, I am just uh, creating one more Python file. In that Python file, that uh, we can create the object that we needed for this uh, functionality. At here, it is travel management module. So for this travel management uh, functionality, the, what is the uh, object that I need to create uh, is creating under this Python file. So I am giving its name as travel. And then in its init file, let's import the travel from dot import travel. And then we can import this models directory under the main init file of the travel management module. So then let's go back to the travel.py python file. Here we can create the model that for our travel management module or we are going to uh, inheriting or extending the default functionality in Odo. We can do that same at here. So let me uh, show one example. And at this module, I am trying to creating a new object for travel. So from Odo, let's import models comma I, I am adding some fields in that models and then for api operations i am just importing api and then let's define the object class travel and then models dot model and then adding the object travel dot travel And then now the model is get created and then uh, I am adding some fields that I need to show uh, in the in that travel manage travel dot travel model. So I am adding some fields name where that I am adding a type of character. So a character field and just adding a string.
so likewise we can create the objects and if we need to uh, extend the functionality we can inherit a particular object that is in the default order so now in the travel.py python file the object is created so likewise we can create uh, the uh, models file and then in, inside the models file we can define the image and then the corresponding python files and then we can define the object and then uh, the object is created and next thing is we need to uh, give the uh, view for this object so i am creating in, uh, inside the travel management module creating the folder views where we can define the views of these files that means where need to we want to show uh, this object that means is our travel management module in the auto UI that can be created under the views file views a directory inside the views uh, we can add the XML files uh, in the XML files we can define uh, the views so I'm adding the views inside the views let's add the for example I am giving the name as travel.xml here I can give the uh, menu for the travel management module and then the views that means like form view, tree view, example uh, for this uh, travel management module can be given under this uh, file. Uh, and then in the travel.xml we can define the view. First we can define the menu item. So menu item. We can just give a ID. I'm just giving it as travel menu. And then just give a name. And then if we need sub menus under this uh, main menu, we can add that. And then we can add the parent that means which shows under the uh, which menu this menu is belong so I am just adding the travel menu and then just giving a name and then we can if uh, if that uh, once we click that menu if we need to show any form or uh, just like views we can add that action at here I'm just adding a action And then we can define the sequence of that menu also. So uh, at here, likewise, we can add the action for this particular menu and then the view that we needed for this object. That means like tree view, form view, Kanban view. This type of views can be declared at this XML file. And then the next thing is security. That means security that we need to uh, give the access for the users uh, who have the access to this particular object that we have created travel dot travel so let's create a security directory under the module travel management and then initially we can create the access for uh, users for this model travel dot travel so let's create a csv files ir.model.access.csv at here we can declare the access for each model for which of the users who have the permission to read write unlink or edit that particular object Then the permission for read, write, create and unlink. Mm -hmm. 
then this is the basic syntax for the csv then for our this particular object we can declare the id so i am just declaring the access such as travel and then the model as and then just giving a name and then just the model as model underscore travel dot travel that we have already given for this particular model and then uh, if you need then uh, next thing is the group that means for which of the users that we need to uh, give this access so I'm just giving it just for the internal user. So base group dot user. Then let's give the permission here. Now I am giving the full permission. So likewise, we can create the access files that is dot CSV files for giving the permission for the users who have the access to this particular objects that we are created in the Python files. And then let's call the CSV file in the manifest. So that's all about the security. And also if we need to create some record rules or that means we need to apply some particular rules for particular objects we can create the xml files under the security directory and then we can create the conditions that we needed uh, and then the next thing is controllers controllers also one of the module structure in a module in the controllers we can give the handle record it handles the request just from web browsers the controllers also for example let's create a controllers here also let's create a uh, init uh, python file where we can load the models or we can where we can load the packages that needed for these controllers and then if we need a controller uh, file for this particular module we can create a controller file at here And then what all are the requests or what are the uh, things that we have handled with, with the web browsers that can be added at here. And then we can load this particular controllers python file in the init. That means from dot import controllers. And then we can load this whole controllers file in the ba uh, basic init file that like we can import it as from dot import controllers that's all about the controllers files and then the next thing is data files data files means for example if you are creating a custom model like at here i am creating a travel dot travel so i need to load some uh, data when i install the module automatically the data i need to get uh, loaded so that data can be created under the data directory so under the travel management module i am just creating a directory data so inside this data we can create the dot xml files and then under that files we can add the things or the uh, objects that we have loaded when we install this module and then moving to the next thing that is uh, wizard uh, that means if we have any wizard in our particular form views or uh, in things uh, we can add that wizard under the directory wizards And here also we need to create a python file, init python file. And then if we uh, need the, uh, the functions that can be written under the another python file for example. Now I am just creating it as wizard. So here we can define the functions or here we can define the particular transient model of that wizard etc. And then as like a same models and controllers we can load that wizard file under this init from dot import wizard. And then also in the main init file we can import that wizard too. So in Odo uh, this everything will be systematically stores can be given by the reports so in order it get the both xls report and the pdf report it can be managed by the report directory so under the travel management module i am created a directory for reports so report 
uh, here uh, I can define the basic record Python file for init and then the custom Python files for the for define the function of report and then we can load that particular report in the main uh, Python file. So the next thing is the static files that means static web data where we can store the images, CSS or JS files. So let's check how we can define the static files. So under the travel management module we can create a custom directory for static. Then inside the static we can define the src and then inside the src we can define uh, a directory for css if we need to load some css for this particular module and if we load some js we can define that particular js or I have any xml we can define that xmls at here. So under the CSS directory, we can define the .css files and under the JS, we can define the JavaScript files and under the XML, we can define the XML files for the uh, user uh, that can be used for the web interface. And also then the next thing is the IATN files that means internationalization. That means which can be used to add translation to our modules. That means we have already know order provides the tra language translations. So those translations can be managed by the IATN directories. That means we can create a IATN directories. Under here we can define .po files that can be obtained by exporting the custom modules. So these are the basic things that we needed to uh, build a module. And then the next thing is about manifest. So in the manifest, uh, initially we can give the name for our module and then we can define the version. The version can be defined using the schematic version rule. And then we can define the category and then the depends. Depends means for which modules or uh, which apps does this uh, module is belonging. For example, if uh, some of the fields are getting from the restaurant partner model, they are belonging to the contacts. So we can give it, uh, the contacts as a uh, depends. And then here we can add the description uh, regarding this module. And then under the data files, we can uh, define the data files that we have used. And then under the demo files, we can define the uh, demo files that we need to install that need be, to be load once we install this particular module and then the some more things so let's add some data files and then let's try to install this module so in the manifest manifest means which is one of the imported uh, required python files that means it helps to show that module in the app list so we can give the data under the data files i am adding the security file and then the views file uh, and then let's run the PyCharm and then going to the UI just updating the app list and then let's search for our custom module travel management and then install this so then now the module is getting installed so uh, likewise we can build a custom module uh, in order 50. so i hope you got the idea about how to build a module custom module in order 50.